Hello everybody, what's happening? This will be my second video of the Percy Harvin Superstar mode, and as you see here, we will be taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. I skipped the rest of the preseason because Percy Harvin only Open plays week. one quarter. Always but nonetheless, the let's get into the game. So no From Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. This will be, uh, well actually Donovan McNabb is going to be the starting quarterback for week one. Not sure how long that will last. We see Chad Henney and Blaine Gabbert warming up. But nonetheless, well actually, uh, Phil Sims and Jim Nance have some words. And how do you feel about getting this season underway? Ah, uh, Jim, this is like Christmas, man. I go down there, open up a present. I have no idea what's inside that box. And that's what the coaches are thinking. They're not sure about their football teams. They don't know, but they're going to get some of those answers here today. And whatever happens, don't judge your whole season. I realize it's just one game. Make the corrections and move on. But as you see here, the Vikings did get the coin toss, but we elected to kick. But it's actually a good choice because here is first down from the 20 yard line. The slant across to Percy Harvin for the first play of this Vikings offense. He gets six yards, and that is the first pass by Don McNabb and Percy Harvin that's been completed. Because this is the first game as Don McNabb is a quarterback. Here is second down. We'll run it with Adrian Peterson. He'll cut back, and he'll kind of just lay around there, but a flag is down, a holding call. And that will bring up a holding on actually Don McNabb. You don't really see that a lot. <clears throat> That'll bring up second and ten. I'll audible Percy Harvin's route. I want to get a slant, but anytime I tried it, uh, just kind of went to that little what's called. And there's a throw to Percy Harvin, and he gets leveled right as he grabs on. And he could not hold it down, so that will bring up a third and ten. We'll do another passing play. Adrian Pierce only has one rush today, and he got... Actually, I don't think it counted because of that holding call. But we'll line up in the eye formation. Percy Harvin's wide open, and the same exact thing twice in a row. He cannot hold on to it because of the defender. A good safety there, good play, and I really want Percy Harvin to be able to, to you know, hold on to those passes come the rest of the season. But that will bring on a field goal. And Blair Walsh, I believe, will look to, and he will get it through. So good kick there, and we have the early 3-0 lead. I'll simulate to Percy Harvin, and the Jacksonville Jaguars get six points, and actually, we'll look to Black, because we are the kick returner and punt returner. Here's Percy Harvin, a little bit uh, slow, so he does not get the block, and the score will be 73. The Jacksonville Jaguars are leading. Maurice Jones, too, is going to be hard to stop for this Vikings defense, but I think, you know, Chad Greenway and the rest of the linebacking core, the great defense of the Minnesota Vikings, will be able to stop them. So here is Percy Harvin, breaks one tackle, and he'll spin out to the 17-yard line, but he won't get any further than that, and Don McNabb will take the floor. There is first and 10. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'll send Percy Harvin on a streak. And he'll throw it out to Carlson, the tight end. And he gets about seven yards on that one. Good catch by him. <coughs> Good decision by Donovan McNabb. I was open right as he threw it to Carlson, but, you know, we don't want to risk those deep passes every now and then. Here's Adrian Peterson, cuts back again, and he gets leveled. So he's not been good that one preseason game that we actually did. And today he hasn't really been playing as well as, you know, we were used to that MVP category player. Here's third down and three, a crucial play here. Percy Harvin's wide open down the middle, and I'm surprised he holds down on that one. That was a great hit. And that is the second reception of the game. I believe that one is uh, about 16 yards. But that will bring up another first and ten single back formation. And Percy Harvin will, oh, not a good throw. I thought I had him beat, but the defender actually kept up. I really shouldn't have called for that pass. But anyways, here is second and ten. Don McNabb, empty tray. And he will dump it off to Z Rudolph. And a good catch by Kyle Rudolph. He had a pretty good season this past season in the NFL. And he was pretty much a main necessity for this Vikings team in the passing offense. Percy Harvin was injured for most of the year with a torn ACL. But, you know, next year he'll hopefully look to bounce back. And here is third down and one. The run to Adrian Peterson. 
and he'll bounce it back and he'll get solid yards there. Really sort of took it to the outside, but he decides to cut inside and he has two rushes for 12 yards. But I'm pretty sure he, he actually has three because of the holding call, it only counts as two. <clears throat> but here we're doing a jet sweep, and usually Percy Harvin is the guy for this, but they'll send it to right, and a good cutback there. It's so hard to block in this game. So guys, I really won't be taking this uh, series very seriously. It'll be kind of one of my more laid-back uh, uh, series and because of my NBA 2K13 association. That'll be the main series on this channel. But here's the throw to right. Two straight plays for him, and that's his first reception of the game, and he gets 13 yards on that one. So another first down, and this Vikings offense is really looking strong. Adrian Peterson will take a little uh, play to the outside. He'll actually cut back inside, and he does not get very good yards on there, maybe two or three yards, <coughs> which will bring up second down and eight. We'll look to, you know, throw the ball in the air, hopefully get some good yards on this one. I'll change it to a slant. I really like that with Adrian Peters, or excuse me, with Percy Harvin. He tries to cut back inside, and he does not get any yards. Well, after that catch. But I really like sending Percy Harvin on the slant because he's so fast, and he's, it's really easy to beat the defender. And you see here, I do it again. I really do it a lot this game, and I'm gonna probably do it a lot this season. And there's the throw to Percy Harvin, muscles his way, but cannot get the touchdown. I really should have challenged that because I want Percy Harvin to get. <laughs> a touchdown in this game. That, that'll be the goal. <clears throat> Here is second and goal on the one yard line. And it looks at Percy Harvin and he just drops it. Good defense there. Might have been deflected, but they'll take me out and they will score. But the Jacksonville Jaguars looks to tag on another touchdown. We'll look to block it this time. And just kind of laid back on that play. And. The score is 14 to 10. This Jacksonville Jaguars offense has not missed a beat, and this Vikings defense needs to step up if we want to win this game. <clears throat> but here is the squib kick to Kyle Rudolph. It's not get very good yardage there. And with only 20 something seconds left, we'll look to go deep. Percy Harvin will go out on a streak with only one defender. And he gets sacked. Donovan McNabb, not good pressure by the Jacksonville defense. And that is probably one of the first sacks of the game, I think. <clears throat> but I call timeout. And that'll bring up second and 13, I believe. My screen's kind of small. I can't really see it here. But shotgun formation. I'll send Adrian Peterson a block. And the play goes to Percy Harvin. And I wanted him to just jump up and make a highlight play there. But he doesn't. And that might be Rasheed Mathis who just got hurt there. Because he's probably the best cornerback on this Jacksonville team. And I know I'm not really sure who's going to guard Percy Harvin now. He'll cut back inside. The throw to Percy Harvin, a good catch there. And 5 to 10 yards after that catch, which will put him in field goal territory. And actually, we'll actually go for it here. Uh, kind of risky play, but, you know, this Vikings team, Vikings offensive coordinator, is, uh, <coughs> he wants to get a touchdown. Throw to Percy Harvin. Kind of off uh, kilter there. Not a good throw. And with only a couple seconds left, Blair Walsh will kick a field goal if he's our kicker. I'm not really sure. It might be John Casey. I think that's what it said there. But Percy Harvin will look to re return another kick. Hopefully get past the 20-yard line and he cuts inside. He'll cut back and he fumbles the ball. But luckily, another Vikings player is there to grab it. Might have been Kyle Rudolph there. But uh, thanks for having my back, I guess. <coughs> Anyways, here is first and 10 on the 11-yard line. No thanks to that return by Percy. And tries to go for the black, but pretty much just misses there. In the second reception of the game for him, he's having a good game today. And so is Don McNabb. Just, you know, no touchdowns for him so far, even though the Vikings do have 13 points. All from field goals. Actually, never mind, not all from field goals. Excuse me, and I don't really know what that pass was from Donovan McNabb. Not a good pass by him, and he's actually been pretty accurate this game. I'm actually kind of happy. A lot better than Joe Webb in that preseason game, I'll tell you that. I like Christian Ponder over both of them, but hey. Anyways, this press coverage, not very smart for Percy Harvin. 
And he'll be open down the middle, and another overthrown ball by Donovan McNabb. That's two straight for him. He's got to get back into it if the Vikings offense is going to score any points and if he's going to get any touchdowns. Adrian Peterson can't get, <coughs> he won't carry the load for this team, and he shouldn't have to. But here's third and ten. Pretty having in motion. I didn't really mean to be in motion there. And he gets open, but that is the catch by Jerome Simpson. And he had actually a pretty good season with the Vikings this year. And, yeah, he's going to be a really weapon on this offense if Percy Harvin, you know, shouldn't have to carry the load in this receiving core. But here's the uh, pitch to Adrian Peterson, and no thanks to the blocking by Percy Harvin. Adrian Peterson will, <coughs> will lose a couple of yards. Play number six coming up on this Here's shot. shotgun formation. Adrian Peterson in the backfield along with Don McNabb. I'll call some audibles. And Adrian, P oh, excuse me, Percy Harvin's open downfield and overthrown by Donovan McNabb. That would have easily been a touchdown pass, but he just could not get the right touch on it. This chemistry is going to have to be a, it's crucial to the success of this receiving core. And there's a throw to, to Landry, actually. I was going to say there's a throw to Percy Harvin, but <clears throat> as you see there, that is an interception. And a good game for Landry. It's one interception and six tackles so far. But <clears throat> as you see here, the Minnesota defense gets a touchdown. Might have been an interception. I'm not sure who uh, took it back. And actually, Chad Greenway, the interception for a touchdown by him, and that'll give us the 20 to 14 lead. A great play by him, and Percy Harvin will return his first punt of the game. The first punt for this Jacksonville offense. They've been very strong in this game. And here's the punt. Percy Harvin looks like pretty good blocking. He'll try and cut to the outside, breaks one tackle, and he tries to go back inside, but he does not get very strong yardage on that one. And so we'll get out this offense. Percy Harvin set him on another streak because, you know, it's really fun with Percy Harvin because he can pretty much just beat the defender because of his speed. And there's the retarded Percy Harvin. Uh, not, I'm not very, a very strong blocker, as you may have already seen. I kind of miss my blocks a lot. It's a very hard to block in this game. You, almost, you have to almost be perfect. And with the difficulty that I'm playing on, you know, it's kind of hard to stay in front of your man. But there's the I formation, the throw to Lowry, and well, there is another interception. Back-to-back -back interceptions on back-to-back -back drives for this uh, Vikings offense. Hopefully, our defense and our defense does uh, step up. And with four and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter, we're probably going to look to waste a little bit of clock <coughs> and hopefully take it in for another touchdown. Here's Percy Harvin on the sideline, spins and gets about one yard there. Not a very good return. I'm gonna have to work on that because it is kind of hard to like bounce off from you know, on punt returns unless you have like Brandon Banks. But you know, we'll hopefully look to improve on that. And here's Percy Harvin. He's open down the field, and can they get it to him? Yes, he gets the catch, and you're not gonna chase down Percy Harvin. His first reception for a touchdown on this game, and that is a huge play by Donovan McNabb. A great throw and a great catch along the sidelines. That'll increase, oh, and almost a block there, but that'll increase our lead to 13 points. The score is now 27 to 14. And our defense withstands another drive from the Jacksonville Jaguars, and hopefully we'll look to take it again with Percy Harvin. Here's the press coverage, and that's not very smart. Oh, and that was my bad on that one. Could have been a little bit better. Could have been a more of a lob, but <coughs> I definitely could have caught that one if I stayed on track. But anyways, here's second down and ten. It's single back formation. Adrian Peterson in the backfield. And Percy Harvin is open, and he almost gets that kind of deflected catch, but he cannot hold on to it. I don't even think he was really in the right position to get that. <coughs> Probably not the best uh, decision to call for that pass, but you know, I just wanna, want this to be an exciting series for you guys. And I'll send everyone else on a curl. And there's the catch by Percy Harvin. A great catch there. I thought that was going to be intercepted. And he has seven receptions for over 100 yards. And, you know, just great playing by him. Good throwing by Don McNabb for the most part. And that will bring up a first and goal. Here's Percy Harvin. He's open. 
And that's pretty much automatic. There's the second touchdown of the game for Percy Harvin. And great playing by him. A great catch there. Didn't get phased. And almost another bl uh, blocked kick there. We're going to have to work on that because black field goals pretty much are a... Uh, <coughs> you don't really see a lot, but hopefully we'll have none of those this year. And the defense does let up a goal, or a, a goal. They do let up a score here, but it won't really matter because there's not a lot of time left. And we have a strong 13-point lead. Thanks to this Vikings offense and the Vikings defense, they actually Chad Greenway had that interception for a touchdown. And I'm not sorry to get that because of the returning success I've had today. Virtually none. I've had probably a total of 20 yards on three kick returns, and or three two kick returns and a punt return, but... Anyways, here's first and ten. <coughs> Percy Harvin will go deep again. And he beats the defender. And what a catch there. You can't outrun Percy Harvin. He is going in for the touchdown. His third of the game. On three straight possessions for this Viking offense, they've all gone to Percy Harvin. A great play there. And that's what I said. It's fun to play with Percy Harvin. And people like Deshaun Jackson, Joshua Cribbs, who are just so fast and so hard to guard. And that will increase this lead to 41 to nothing. And that will be the final score. It looks like a tight one so far, or in the beginning of the game. But as you see here, we do end up with a blowout. And I will show you guys some of the stats for both teams. And the Adrian Peterson and all those other players that you didn't really see much of. As you see here, a good QBR for Donovan McNabb. Excuse me. And for a 13-year veteran, he's playing very well. Maurice Jones drew solid, 37 uh, yards total and a touchdown, and nine catches for 257 yards and three touchdowns for Percy Harvin. Those are some fantasy points for you. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you very much, and I'm out.